When I first saw Kim Kardashian in my dress, it was cool just to see that she rocked my like $80 dress compared to what she could have gotten from a high fashion brand. When women walk up to me and they say like how I've, you know, influenced their confidence, that makes me feel good like when people recognize me anywhere because I feel like it's just the Instagram page. I originally went to college for PR and marketing, and when I left, I couldn't find a job. So when my sister moved to LA, I followed her there. I didn't have a lot of money when I moved to LA, and all I had was a lot of vintage clothing. So I started out with vintage and selling the clothing off of my back, really. And then from there, I moved into wholesale and then designing, and then my clothing line was born. Before I came along, there weren't many clothing lines that catered to women with curves. There were plus size brands, but there weren't many clothing lines that catered to like in between size. So there's not girls like me that you'll see in a fashion magazine ever, like the not super skinny, kind of short, you know, how a lot of black women look. So I will say that we're not very diversely spread in the fashion industry as, as far as white women, but we're getting there all the most beautiful people in the world are in LA. So going there, you're gonna see a lot of women that have a lot of surgery, you know, work out every day, like they have the most perfect shape. So with me coming in, especially on Instagram, showing my body and my cellulite and my rolls and just a natural body, I became a little insecure comparing myself to those LA girls. When I started posting my real body and my flaws, a lot of people embraced them. Like I got a lot of followers of women that were like, oh my God, you look like me. You make me so proud to you know, have my body shape and be natural. And a lot of men surprisingly like it. Like they, you know, they like that I'm embracing like who I naturally am. When I first started Instagram, there were a lot of perfect girls there. Not necessarily perfect, but just editing themselves to look perfect. So I was just throwing pictures up there, honestly. And it got reblogged because of that, because it wasn't a lot of heavy editing or Photoshop. So I think, honestly, that's how it grew. A lot of brands, when you go online, you'll see the model and she looks perfect. Like there's no imperfections, there's no stretch marks, there's no cellulite, they take everything out. And we choose to leave that in there because we want you to see what the clothes are gonna actually look like on you. And that's what I prefer when I shop a brand is to look at a dress and see what it's gonna look like exactly on me instead of on a perfect model. Kim Kardashian buys from a lot of online stores. So, but when I saw her in it, I'm like, that looks like a lot like mine. That isn't like her usual high fashion brand. So I reached out to her stylist who confirmed that it was mine. And I'm like, how did she get it? I didn't send it to anybody. And they said that she had purchased it on her own. It was cool just to see that she rocked my like $80 dress compared to what she could have gotten from a high fashion brand. One thing that I saw my mom do a lot when I was younger is my mom didn't have a lot of education or a lot of resources, but she taught herself how to do everything. So although I did eventually go to college, I learned that I still had to teach myself Photoshop. I still had to teach myself how to code. I had to teach myself how to send an email list. So if you want to do something, you can teach yourself how to do it. You don't have to wait on anybody else or class. Assuming you're not being a doctor or anything. But <laughs> And I say I embrace curves because every woman, like it doesn't matter what shape, you have some type of curve to you. It's all about embracing the body that you have and making it look your best. 